We're talking about the marbled crayfish today. It's a self-replicating crayfish. If uh, you don't know what a crayfish is and you're from America, it's a big-ass crawdad. Excuse me. And uh, they lay their eggs and then they uh, bring them to maturity on their own tail. And they bro, uh, bro, bro, they bro water over them with like beer kegs and keg stands and uh, frat parties and all sorts of shit. But no, they blow water over their eggs to give them nutrients. I uh, forget the gestation cycle. It's very short. Some people say it can end world hunger. I say you haven't met an American. You know what we do to crayfish over here? Each American is going to be walking away from the river with like 700 pounds of cray. They're going to be tugging it on a giant carp. But like, whoop, whoop, crayfish, bold tonight. We'll be singing songs and shit. It's, that's just the way it is. We all go crawdadding around here, my buddy. We're like, my well, buddy was like, what's a crayfish? I'm like, it's like between a lobster and a crawdad. He's like, really? And I like showed it to him. He's like, oh man. Yeah, I need a bunch of those like, right? <laughs> they're, it's, they're apparently a problem in Germany. Um, I don't know what they're doing about it over there. What I do think they can do is capture the crayfish in some sort of industrial situation involving boats and shit. And then... When you get the crayfish on board, you eat the motherfuckers, or you can grow them in a tank at your house. But largely, uh, they were discovered in a fish tank in Germany, and apparently people started buying them in like, I don't remember, like the 90s or 2000s, a fish store, and now they're like taking over Europe or some shit. But to me, this is just great news, because, man, they take like a PVC pipe, and there's a really dope dude, I forget the dude's name right now. Uh, we'll link his channel in the description below. I just checked it like a minute ago. Marcus? I don't know, it's probably wrong. And the dude is pretty, uh, he's got a pretty dope crayfish set up. And apparently they're super docile, they don't screw with their youth. And so you can just grow a bunch of crayfish in the same tank, give them all their little same space to keep on crayfishing. And you're going to have yourself an awesome little farm of uh, uh, crayfish to eat up on. If you're into that. You might think that's some cold-blooded shit, but when you think about it, some people are quite desperate, and some places people are um, raising all sorts of other animals. I was listening to a thing about how people were uh, uh, raising a couple of birds that you traditionally wouldn't eat. I don't think... And, uh, well, they just didn't have much of other choice, and they ate it for, uh, forget what holiday. And that's the thing, is sometimes people are desperate, and they need some food. Self-replicate, replicating crayfish might help a little bit. But if they do get in the rivers around here, you're gonna see boats of people like me being like, Crayfish boy, motherfucker! Like, I'll be way too excited about it. Yeah, I don't think you guys understand about how excited I get about going crawdad hunting. It's some dope shit. And if they start showing up in large amounts, it's just like a thing we do around here. It's gonna be like, me and my buddy were talking about, like, it's over. We eat all of them. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'll eat 10 pounds myself, dog. Just, you know, I got 10 pounds for everybody else. I know that's 60, you know, that's 40 pounds of crayfish in this house alone. You know, if my, none of my neighbors go, that's another, like, 100-something pounds of crayfish for my neighbors alone. So, we're doing, like, a couple hundred pounds of crayfish over here on this street alone, man. Come on, dog. It would be great. But that's if they came in some sort of, like, I don't know, Hitchcock bird invasion shit, but they're taking over the waters. It's like some apocalyptic movie. She'll be like, there's half of the crayfish everywhere. Like, yeah. Yeah? Cool. Shake this one out. <laughs> we call it Jambalaya, son. <laughs> so, that's, uh, about it. We're gonna... I'm gonna link some videos in the description below. Check them out. They can get decently large. And apparently you can... I don't know. I forget. You do some stuff with them. It's cool. Uh... Anyways, I'm going to catch y'all later.